Well, hello there, my cute little urchin. Aphrodite purred, blowing you a kiss and greeting. Don't you think the land around Bominis is beautiful just like me? With all the pretty water and... Ooh, the urchins. How I love urchins, with their adorable little spines. They're so tasty, too. I simply must have a sanctuary here, and you are just the one to build it for me. With that, the goddess disappeared. No one can refuse Aphrodite, and as your assistants scouted around for a suitable place to build the sanctuary, they noticed signs that the Oceanids had been here. The Oceanids produce all manner of goods, so perhaps they can be convinced to trade with Atlantis. Okay. So we have a terrible building place out here. This is all island. So I've got some meadow over here, which will have to be cleared out. And this looks like the place for my buildings. Or for my houses, I should say. Uh, I don't know that there's going to be enough room for my usual building block, so I'm going to have to maybe adjust that. Uh, let me see. We're going to need... I don't think the sanctuary will fit there. No, this is quite large. So, I might have to put it up here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, this mission space is going to be quite important. Now, I could actually use this island. There's a nice, flat coastline along both of these. So I could use those... well, this too. Although this would be a real mess. But I could make all of my urchin buildings up there. Anyway, have to play around with it. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to work out. But I've built a little L shape here. And I put the housing on the inside. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough appeal to be able to evolve them high enough. But I should have plenty of expansion for more houses. So I can fit, the, fit in the uh, 2,000 that we need. And I might have to rearrange this. I can use avenues to beautify the roads, and that might help. I left myself enough room that I can rearrange buildings. Uh, then I've got a road coming out here. I'm thinking of building the sanctuary here. And then we've got meadow underneath here and the, all these trees. But I need to save these trees because the only industry I have is the timber industry and the wine. But uh, I can only grow wine. So what we need to do is, as soon as we've got enough employees for all the urchins, uh, work on exporting wine and wood. Of course, I might want to stockpile some wood so that I can actually uh, start working on the temple, but I'm going to have a... My first trading pier will be with Autok, because they buy the wood and they give marble, and right now they're loyal. So I could actually... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and put down another trading post. If I put it there, I don't have to build another one of those. I tried to plan out ahead of time the roadways so I could have all of my industry concentrated in one area, rather than go out here onto the upper islands. I'm hoping I won't have to do that, because the only way to get there is to build a bridge from this central island. Which I can do. I can knock out one of these uh, urchin things and build a bridge across. But if I can help it, I'd like to keep everything on this island. Now let's get started, I guess. Speed it up to maximum and slow it down. Okay. So they're moving in there. These guys should be... Okay, good. Now, these guys don't build boats. They wade out there. 
and go collecting. So I'm hoping... Yeah, that's what I thought. They can't traverse the water to go over to these other ones. So they're all gonna go here. I don't think these fishing spots actually deplete or anything, so this is actually fine. Provided nothing terrible happens, of course. Um, what are we looking at? Still need 40 people. I suppose I could trim back some of my industries, but we've already got some food coming in. So, as soon as we've got a little bit of a stockpile there... Yeah, okay. So the, these two guys down here can just right away be knocked out because they can't reach any urchins. So, if I did have to remove this, that would mean I would have to go up here. Because I would be very low on food. Um, I may have to rearrange this then, too. I can put another pier here. Well, anyway, I, I designed this to be very temporary. Because I wasn't quite sure where everything was going to go. So there will probably be some movement in this one. A little bit more than I have done in the past. Uh, only six. That should be enough for at least a first level. I'm saving this big area here because I think that's where I'm going to put the observatory. I'd originally thought of putting it here because it will fit, but if I... Shit. Forfeited wood. Not that I need it. Well, I guess it would go right there. I can have an extra... Well, since my trading ports are going to be here, let's do that. Let's put it right there. Build the storehouse, and I will have it accept wood and marble, because that's what we're going to need. Okay, uh, so yeah, as I was saying, but this spot right here makes a lot more sense, because it would take up less room, because only one corner of it actually has to be touching. Um, and I, if I need to... I can put Avenue here, and if I was going to put the observatory here, I would not be able to put Avenue because it wouldn't fit. Okay, so we've got some food finally coming in. I can afford to put down a culture building. Put that right there. Uh, let's put down... Let's put down an obelisk. And a bird bath. Sure. Okay. So this gap right here, this road, I am going to have to leave because I can't get it. I can't build anything there. It's off screen. Oh, we've, we've actually got an excess of employees. 200 people coming in. Okay. Well, since we're so low on food... It's probably not a great idea. Fibno. And we are actually trading with them already. That's the one good thing about picking this mission, is we become trade partners with all of the uh, Oceanids. Now, let me see. So my first one I said was going to be Autok. They don't sell me anything I can actually use. I need fleece and olive oil. I'm actually going to have to build many different uh, trading ports. So At Atlantis will give me the olive oil. And I guess that's the only place I can get it from. Okay. Well, I will be buying it from them. And... They buy marble. I'd like to find someone that I could actually sell something to to offset the cost. Okay, how about to call? Because I can sell them excess grapes, which would be good. So I'll make one to to call, to autoc, and 
if I really need the food, I could buy stuff from someone else. No, I can't grow wheat. I don't think I could turn around sculpture. Well, we'll have to see. I may just have to suck it up and build some more urchin. 500 people. No food. This is not good. I expanded way too fast. 127 people. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to... Okay, okay. I know I don't have enough food. Um, I'm going to have to set up my export industry right away because... Yeah, whoa, geez. Well, that's all in construction, but that's okay. Alright, well, if I want to do this fast, I'm going to have to set up all that infrastructure. Now that I've got some unemployed people, I can afford to do that. Okay, so we've got the start of some industry down here. I don't have any wineries yet. I'm just going to take the grapes and start selling them because that's really all I need to do. Uh, and then, let me see, I'm already going to be selling the wood. I've got a few of the woodcutter's lodges down here. I can expand up here. There's a nice little strip of woods, but that should be more than enough food now for me to uh, make a living off of. Now, what was I going to do with that wine? I don't actually need to sell the wine. I mean, I could. It's worth a lot more money than just the grapes. But now that I'm thinking about it, I don't actually need it. I'm not going to have any elites. The only one who could buy it anyway is this Asium. They... well, they have sculpture. So, okay. Uh, I do have some more coastline, so I could just rearrange the road, like right here would be good, and I can just put it there and pop the road out just a little. But, we still have 120 people unemployed. Oh, well, not anymore. What is your problem? Lack of water? Lack of water? Is this road really too long for that? What the hell's up with this? Oh, there's just... What? Hello, darling. I know. Worship me and no one will leave the city's embrace. This time I'm actually going to build a temple to Aphrodite. I have to. Seriously? How is that too long? That, I mean, that's... That's nothing. I've been building much longer streets than that. That... what... <clears throat> Let's watch some of these other guys. Hmm. Well, we might have a problem here. Yeah, these guys aren't getting visited at all. And these guys are about to devolve. Oh, I'm going to have to double up. Which is going to suck, because that's going to use all of my available space. We need some fleece anyway. Okay, well, we need more workers. I guess I can turn that up. Looks like we've got some fleece. Thank you. I was actually... Oh... Oh, not this again. Okay. I managed to accept it. Now, we just had all that olive oil that is going to be postponed. I've got all this room. Let's go ahead and get Aphrodite down. We may as well start building on this because, well, now if I do that, I'm <laughs> going to remove my... I guess I've got room for a pier down here as well. And of course I've still got stuff way up there. I'd just rather not have to walk all that distance to get to it. But that's okay. We'll put it right here. Fine. And now I can do a couple of these, which is not good at this point because I, I desperately need employees. But let's see, if I put this right here, put 
two down there. That's 50 people. Um, let's go back over to you. Yes, I don't need to be buying eight anymore. I can buy four. Okay, that that did not use up as much of the marble as I was hoping it would. Let's not accept marble here anymore. And that should open up room for the uh, olive oil that will be coming around. Okay, well, we may as well go ahead. Fleece is here. We may as well start selling it. Thank you. Could only accept 16. That's still plenty. Um, I can turn that down? No, that, that's going to get rid of 20 people. I need more people to move in. Why won't you move in? I guess just because this guy hasn't... Man, I, I thought they would walk a little bit further. I was really expecting them to move a little bit further. See, because what usually happens is when they go far enough, if it's lo sh or if it's shorter, <sighs> no, if it's shorter to go back the one way than it would be to just turn around, you can get them to go the full circuit. I was hoping that with the water guys up here, they would actually get down this far at least, in which case it would be shorter to go this way and so we'd circle around. Now, that's clearly not the case, so I need to take care of that now, I guess. Um, let's check on the hygiene. I'm gonna have to take care of them as well. All right, I'll just put another one of these right here, even though that's kind of a waste. And I am going to have to block that off. Well, let me see here. Is that an even number? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, it's not. So I can put this here and not have to put roadblocks along that. Okay, uh, and then I need to do something about the water, which I, I guess can go here. Yeah, fine. That's what we need. Now, since they aren't walking around, why is the tax collector able to do this? But no one else is. That actually pisses me off. Uh, let me look at, I guess, scholars. Well, that's infuriating because they take up employees. What are we waiting on here? We're waiting on wood, I guess. Okay. So, let me see. Now what? Okay, I've got wood. I've got wood coming in. I'm only getting so much. Uh, 20 more slabs of marble? Who did I get that from? I guess I got that from Autoc. I will wait until... I've actually got 20 slabs of marble in storage, so we don't need any more of that. Good. Um, yeah, that's, that's all right there. How are the finances? I might have to start turning... Well, we've got a profit. I might have to start turning it into wine, though. The grapes into wine. I wish you could actually eat the grapes. Put them in the food storage. We are really, really low on food. And that's just because it takes so damn long to get there. I guess I could put, like, a, a storage here. If I put a granary here and told it to accept... Uh, and then told this one to get. 
all the fishermen would put their food in here, and then the workers would take it down that way. So that might be a solution. I think they're going to take all the food. Don't even have half of what I need. Um, quest that's coming hasn't even... I don't even know what that's going to require. Okay, well, I guess we'll just wait until... What are we waiting on? More wood. I can't buy any more wood. Okay, well... What do you mean, more wood? It's right there, you goddamn bastards! I think that's all the wood I need, too. Oh, more, way more than enough. Stop buying that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do something. I guess since this no longer has anything I can do. I don't need the marble anymore. So once I get rid of this, once I empty this, uh, I can eliminate it and get something more useful to me. Maybe something that gives me food. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna come back when Aphrodite's temple is done. Okay, so temple is not done, but I just got the quest. I need to uh, find the Spring of Youth. I can now summon Bellerophon. So what is that going to require? Oh, let's just put it here for now. I can remove it later. Fifteen horses. Twenty-four ingots of orichalc and twenty-four amphora of wine. Okay. Stop it. Just undo that. Right. So, for horses, I'm going to need wheat, which means I now need to make a trade partner with someone who can give me wheat. Uh, which I guess will be them. Manusus. I also need Orichalc. So let's keep that in mind. And Minusis gives me Orichalc and Sculpture. Asium gives me... Okay, no, Asium sells wine, they don't buy wine. I gotta look at that a bit closer. Copan buys wine, sells wood, no longer need that. Okay, well, if I want to, I'm going to need Copan, and I'm going to need... Well, wait a minute, I'm still trading with Autoc. So I can get my Orichalc now. Trade that out for... Minus... No. This Zilyuf sells urchins and Orichalc, so I could get some more food. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> I am looking for wheat, and I am looking for orichalc. Okay, so I'm going to have to do asium, because no one else knows how to grow wheat. Right. So the next one will have to be asium. And then... I've decided... I guess it'll have to be Minusus, possibly Zilyuf. I guess Zilyuf would be the better choice. Although no, because I need sculptures to finish the temple, so it's going to have to be Minusus. Minusus and Asium. Okay. Who are you? Tikal. I'm only selling grapes to Tikal. I am buying fleece from them. Uh, either way I look at it, I'm going to have to build probably two more of these. But uh, let's get that orichalc. What is that going to entail? I need 24. I'm going to need 24 wine. So I'm going to have to start setting up that industry. I, I do have a little bit, just a very little bit. And if I stop selling... Well, anyway, I'm going to do this off screen and I'll think about it. Okay, so apparently the Spring of Youth has been discovered. It must be there. 
is in place. Okay, well, we'll now have to wait for that, but I have got my industry finally set up. I've finally sorted out the whole mess of trading piers, and I've got wheat coming in. I can now make my first horse ranch, which will not actually go here, unfortunately. I'm going to have to place it somewhere else. I've got plenty of room, however, so I don't really need to worry about that. I may as well just put it up here, where it is going to be connected to uh, the system. And I guess I just will clear out all these trees. I was thinking I could just put up another wood... Not, a, not an armory. Uh, another woodcutter's lodge bundle up here, I guess. Hooray! Employees needed. Right, I didn't account for that either. Damn it. Okay, well, we're just waiting on the olive oil, so I may as well turn around and put the oil vendor in. Uh, I can now get rid of that, put this monument in, and so far the houses are all evolving, which is good news. I'm kind of expecting this to be a problem over here. I may have to beautify it a bit. But so far, so good. And, you know, if they don't, I can just sort of... Yeah, these guys aren't evolving. I can always put in more houses. I've got plenty of room yet to put in more housing. So I could just not evolve them and do it the other way. That didn't open up a lot of housing at all. Maybe I will have to evolve them. Well, anyway, this is still going to take some time. Um, here's the sanctuary. I think we've seen this before. I'm going to put down Bellerophon's thing. Hall here. See what we got. Okay, we still need 24. We've got half of what I need for the wine and the orichalc. I don't think I'm selling the wine yet. I hope not. But those 15 horses are going to take some time to come up with. So... I will be back when we're ready to summon him. Okay, we're finally ready. And we better do this in a damn hurry, because I have opened the floodgates by maximizing my housing. I've got 400 people coming in, and no food. So this should be a lot of fun. Uh, I am transferring the wheat now from horses to... The Great the... Bellerophon is at your service! People complain that they're hungry. As for me, I laugh in the face of hunger. Ha ha! Right. Okay, broski. Out you go. Right, well, I'm not accepting wood anymore. Maybe I should be. Uh, actually, what I really should be doing is trying to sell it again. I think there was another place that bought... yeah... No. No, they don't buy it. I keep looking at the wrong one. So... I'll, I'll talk. I think I turned... yeah, I stopped selling to them. So I could make another one. That would probably be a good idea to do, actually. Uh, where am I gonna put it? Who knows. But I, I could build another one. I won't, though. As soon as What's-His-Face is back, we will have met our goals. So I'm actually going to save. There's that goal met. I'm still losing money. Tons of it. Good thing I had that. Okay, you know what? This is taking for. I'm going to save again. Thank you very much, my sweet mortal, for my fine sanctuary. Aphrodite exclaimed while jumping up and down. And I just love visiting the Fountain of Youth. I think I'm looking younger every day. And I already looked very young. Soon, I'll look like a baby. <laughs> 
I'm going to eat some urchins now. Ta-ta. Why an immortal goddess needs a fountain that grants immortality is beyond the ken of mortals. But if Aphrodite is happy, then everybody is happy. After meal upon meal of urchins, the time has mercifully come to return to Autok. New trade relationships with the Mayans have been established, and trade with the Oceanids is going swimmingly. Autok can be sure that it will always have a supply of... urchins. Hooray. Yes. We get to leave the doomed colony of the Biminis to its problem... Well, problems. As always. See you next time.